what we've done here is we've added a couple of more supplements or actually uh, creep feeds uh, to this just to make the contrast in terms of pellet size or cube size. The 20% the, the cubes, the breeder cubes, and the cottonseed cake, the 38% cottonseed cake we talked about earlier, those larger pellet sizes or cube sizes are primarily developed uh, for two purposes, mainly for larger cows. It's easier for a mature cow with her broad muzzle. It's easier for her to pick up those bigger cubes off the ground uh, than it is some of these smaller pellets. And the, the other reason, again, is that we can feed these larger cubes uh, on the ground to cows, replacement heifers, whatever the case might be. We've added to the, to the pan here, we've added uh, 3 8 uh, weaning uh, cube, if you will, or creep cube, and then we've got 11 64 uh, the real small uh, pellet here that you might see oftentimes used in a, in a starter creep ration. One thing we know is we start these calves, especially if they happen to be naive, to cubes or pellets, uh, as we decrease that pellet size, we get better palatability in those young calves. Another place that you might see these smaller pellets used is in complete balanced diets for some of our smaller ruminants like sheep or goats. So again, feed formulation, they come in different sizes. You can get these cubes up to maybe as large as one inch uh, in diameter. And again, those are primarily designed for mature cattle and to be fed on the ground. Uh, these smaller pellets, again, the smaller the pellet, we're typically aiming those uh, at younger cattle and or we're going to feed those in some kind of a bunk or a trough.